Okay, so I just checked the length of my shade, which is what I wanted to do before I cut off any more material. And um, uh, another tip is to make sure that you have your weighted bar in the bottom of it prior to hanging it because it will stretch the material a little bit. So make sure that that bar is in place before. And now that I've checked it, I'm going to put a few more staples where I did just to complete it. Okay, with that done. I like to use this tacking board, uh, cardboard. Uh, this is sold at a upholstery shop. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. It's not really necessary. It's just something that I like to put on my shades. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add and this goes on to the very top edge of the board. Like I said, you can improvise, you don't need it. I just, I have it. It gives me a nice straight edge. Okay. Now I'm going to cut off some of this extra, not all of it, but I'm, I'm going to cut away some, about an inch to an inch and a quarter away, leave a little extra. You don't have to, you can trim it right off if you want to. I always feel funny about cutting all the material off, just in case something's wrong. It's such a final thing to cut it off. So I do like to leave a little extra especially where this shade has a balance. So if there was some type of mistake and I had to lower the shade a little bit, I could unmount it. <clears throat> you don't have to, you can cut it right off if you feel comfortable. My next step is I'm going to roll this onto the edge of the board to give it a clean finish. This also adds a little strength. Okay, that just gives it a little clean finish. Now this, the next part, which I didn't show you, I'm adding a piece of this thermal lining. And I'm not showing you too because I forgot to cut the piece, to be honest with you. And it's going to go, I'll be attached right here, 
and it's going to go down um, a little bit farther than the, where the grommet is. And the reason why you'd want to put an extra piece there is because if you get bright sunlight, even though you have a balance, the sun can shine straight through these holes and, and um, you're going to see just little dots. So you should take another piece and cut it to cover. Or your second option, um, which we also do, is to add a separate liner that goes all the way down to conceal the, the strings. Um, because if you have children, which honestly you shouldn't be using this in a child's room, you should only be use, using cordless shades in, in a child's room or in a, uh, a, a house that has children in it. This particular uh, home, this is for one of our clients. It's an older, um, older person. There are no no children, and um, it's not necessary to add it. However, if if you do have children even visiting, you probably should put the the um, extra liner on it. Um, but the other aspect of it is cost factor too. It does cost a little bit more to add. It. Anyway. Um, that's my disclaimer, by the way, for you people out there saying you have to cover your strings, blah, 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 blah. Yes, you should, especially if there's children. I agree. Anyhow, with that being done, this is what the shade looks like, like that, with the, um, the grommets. And, at, and now I'm going to add the valance. The valance is going right to the front part of it. So now I'm going to put this back down. And I'm going to staple this down. Okay, so there's my balance on there. Now I'm going to add my welt in. You want to make sure if you're using welting or braid cord, make sure you hang it over and then you'll trim it off afterwards. You want to make sure it's hanging over the shade, meaning that it sticks out. So it'll look like this, give it a little um, 3D dimension to it, if you will. Most of the time I like to put a couple staples on the end, no matter what I'm doing on uh, one side, give it a little stretch to the other side, and, and then work in between. Just my preference. Okay. That's what that's going to look like. Now, I take my scissors, I'm going right where my stitching is where I sewed the welting to separate it, cutting off the excess here. I'm pulling the welt cord, I'm peeling it back so, it, so it's even with the edge of where the balance would be. And I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to fold it, I'm going to wrap it to the inside of the board. Keeping in mind that this is an inside mounted balance, so I don't want my balance to go around the return because as you raise the shade up, it could knock into the return edge or the side of the balance and distort it. And so I prefer not to have anything. Plus, you don't want to wrap your welting around it because it adds to the width of the uh, shade. And uh, I only allow a quarter inch when I make a shade. If the window is, say, 40 inches wide, I make my shade 39 and 3 quarters. So there's only a quarter inch room to put it in. I'm going to go to the other side and cut off the little extra here.
cut away right where I had stitched it. And get rid of the top piece. Peel back the welting. Cut it away. Wrap the exposed cording like that. couple staples. That's what we have so far on there. Now we're going to finish it off. The piece that I had already stapled on, which is part of the head rail, we're going to finish that right off. I'm going to staple this Okay, that's what the top of my headboard looks like. My welting. Side view of what it would look like. There is the balance. The grommets. Now the way this is attached, um, which is something I forgot, when you get it up into the windowsill, because this is inside mount, you'll be putting up to the window then you're taking long screws and you'd be screwing in through the board up into the window casing. That's how these are attached. If this was an outside mounted and you wanted the string still to, to be on the front side of it, it's a little different story. You'd have to put little slits in the material for your L brackets to come out. So keep that in mind. It can be done with a little bit of tape and then um, you figure out where your L bracket, you put your L brackets up, then you figure out where you have to put your slits, take a small razor, you put a little razor mark into there um, using a little um, tape, uh, which I had seen, shown this before. Anyhow, that's um, how you mount the shade, and um, our next video is going to be to, um, to string it. So thanks for watching, have a great day.